Okay, so this one is uh, 771, and so it says write the equation of the exponential function of the form y equals a times b to the x plus k that passes through each of the following pairs of points and has the given asymptote. So for letter a, um, it passes through negative 1, comma, negative 0.2, and so I think what I'm going to do is a system of equations on this one. I also might, it didn't tell me to um, sketch a graph, but I might just want to look at it real quick. So we move it over just a little bit. Yeah, Thank sorry. That's okay. Can't see any of that. So if I did graph this, y equals negative 1, well, here's y. You can't hardly see. And here's x. And so goes like that. So I think that I think I can just take from that information about it having an asymptote that this can be k. Does anyone agree with that? Mm -hmm. Did other people think of it that way? So I think I'm, what I'm going to be doing is plugging just numbers in and trying to find, like I'm going to plug here's an x and here's a y, and here's another x and here's another y. And I think I'm going to do system of equations and do some algebra and find, try to find out what a is and b. Okay, so over here I'm going to start out with y equals a times b to the x minus 1 because we already know. Okay, and then over here I'm going to do the same thing y equals a times b to the x minus 1. But in this side, I'm going to plug in the x and the y. So it looks like x is negative 1. Did anyone else do it this way? I kind of did it. I don't know. I haven't done this. You did it this way. Okay, so, it, yeah. so hopefully I'm not going to. Yeah, so if I solve this, then I would have to add one to both sides. So I'm going to, um, unfortunately, it's the decimals, mm -hmm. but. Why did I have to use a calculator for that? Wouldn't that just be 0. 0.8? <laughs> okay, so what I did is I added one to both sides, and I got 0. 0.8 equals A times B to the negative 1. Now, I think what I'll do is go ahead and see what happens over here. Maybe something a little bit nicer will happen over here, and then I'll do a system of equations on them. So on this side, if you guys can see that, I have uh, I have two ordered pairs. So I'm going to use this ordered pair now and get another equation. So for y, I got 2, 4, 9, 9 equals a times 4 to the x minus 1. And then so I'll add 1 to both sides. And then that's 2, 500, thank you. Oh, did I do it? Oh, thank you. No, thank you guys for saving me. So that was A times B to the fourth. Yeah, I'm having a bad math day because I got flustered earlier. So here's um, A times B to the fourth. It's okay, though, because I have you guys. So now... Um, I have a favorite way that I like to solve these. I like to divide one by the other. Has right. anyone else yeah, discovered yeah, that way? Right. So my very favorite way. And so, I don't know, I think maybe I'll put this one on the bottom. So basically I just draw a line and I divide them. And the reason I do that is because the A's conveniently cancel out and everything usually turns out very nicely for me. So what I did is I took this one and I'm dividing it. I'm dividing the other one by it. So um, 2,500 divided by 0.8 is going to be some pretty big number probably. 3125. Oh. I got... Oh, did I do minus? Okay, sorry. Divided by 0.8. I believe you, but if you're right, it's 3125. And then, um, you know how when you have the exponents, you can go 4 minus negative 1. 
So that would be actually 4 plus 1, because minus a negative is plus 1. So I think that's going to be b to the fifth. And then I can take fifth roots of both sides. So the fifth root of 3125, my calculator probably has a button for that. Five. Is it really five? Yes. Okay, so you're saying that five times five times five times five times five equals 3125? Mm -hmm. Okay, so if you, and if you guys can figure out how to get that into your calculator. If you can't figure out how to type that into your calculator, you can just raise both sides to the one-fifth power. That would also work. So now I know B. So I know this is getting pretty long, but I've got B. And then I can plug it in somewhere and find A. So, hmm. I was doing the one on the right. So doing the one on... 24.99 equals A B to the fourth. Um, equals A times 5 to the fourth minus 1 like that? Yes. Okay, because then that gives me the 2,500 equals A times, well, we know 5 to, what, 5 times 5, what's 5 to the 4th? Did we just do that? 125? Yeah. Huh. 625 is 5 to the 4th. Mm hmm okay. And then we're going to divide by, is that right? 5 times 5 is 625. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Uh, You're probably like smarter than all of us. No. But he deserves to be an integrated five. <laughs> Yay! He's kicking. That would be nice because then I could just I don't know what what would I do? You'd be learn. Can I, I would learn. You could teach and I could learn. Can we actually have Bodhi? No. Like half the lesson. Have him explain it all. So, so I think we were having fun yesterday. Don't ruin it, Jason. So this is the answer just for letter A. I'm going to stop this video because it's getting kind of long. Click to. I don't know.